Today I have something a little bit different in store for you. Now I'm usually a skeptical buyer, but I bought something online. I'm your humble host, Mr. Popcall. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a review of Mythology Candles Company. So I was scrolling through Facebook and I had just recently made a purchase for candles from Confectionery Soap Company. Now we all know how the internet works. When you search up one thing, you start getting ads for a hundred of the same sort of thing. Now I'm a skeptical buyer, which means that I usually don't buy anything unless it's from a very, very reliable, reliable source. And then I realized that when I wanna see if a company is reliable or legit, I usually go to YouTube and see if anybody has reviewed that company. So I figured, why not bite the bullet take one for the team and shop online from a business that I've never heard of and see if I can make a review video for you guys. So the Mythology Candles ad that I saw was advertising the candles as fantasy inspired candles. Now I'm not much for buying candles online, but I'm very into fantasy and that's what made me click. Now that advert included six two ounce candles that come in a sample pack for $34. Once I paid for all the shipping, it came out to about $45 and it took about three weeks to get to me. I believe I ordered on September 7th and it came on September 28th, so about 21 days. Now 21 days or three weeks is a perfectly normal wait time for a company that's a small business I believe the owner started making the candles out of her own home. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm coming close, you can hear what I'm saying. Regardless of how these candles smell today, this is one of the best online buying experiences I've ever had. And I shop online a lot. There was never a day throughout this three week process that I was ever in any doubt that my candles were not gonna get to me. I was getting shipping updates all the time emails with stories about the candles, their origins, the origins of the company, and even of the owner herself. After all that being said, and after giving credit where it's due, I'm not sponsored by Mythology's Candle. These are just candles that I bought with my own money. So I'm gonna be giving my honest review and opinion on this company. Now, I'm not gonna to talk too much about the owners because when you buy your candles, I want you to experience that for the first time without me spoiling it. But I will mention that she says the concept behind the candles is to give us a fully immersive experience. So for the sake of full immersion, let's cosplay. Now, you may be wondering why I'm sitting to the side, and that's because I have a special guest for this video. Someone I also consider a candle connoisseur. Mrs. Popco. What's up you guys? It's Tiffany Mia. So Mrs. Popco, thank you for joining me on my channel today. Thank you for having me. Now we're going to be doing a review of Mythology Candles Company. I called you in because of your expertise. This is how the package came in. Marked fragile so that the postman knows to handle with care. That's not attention to detail, I don't know what is. Now for this video we're going to be skipping the safety briefing because the box has already been Pre-cut. Before we get started in our review, we're gonna get a little bit more comfortable just to make things easier to handle. So when I ordered the candles from the website, which by the way is an immaculate website, the candles themselves and the sample box that it came in appeared to be Lord of the Rings inspired. So the box is actually, it looks like a map of Middle Earth. Now I haven't actually looked in the box, so I'm hoping that what I saw online is what I got here. Let's check it out. Paper. Wow, okay, so it comes with a card inside that gives a little bit of backstory, like a thank you for your purchase from Leah, I believe I'm saying that correctly, from the owner of the company. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what it says because I don't wanna spoil this moment for you. I want you to get the full experience when you buy your candles also. And on the back side, it looks like, oh, well, it's kinda actually looks like Skyrim a little bit. Um, like a quest journal with objectives and the objectives are actual like candle care instructions. I think that's super cool. Very unique. I was really hoping this was gonna come in the sample box that I saw online and it does not disappoint, guys. Okay, let me show you this. Check that out. It already looks kind of Middle Earth inspired. It Very says nice. creating more immersive experience for fans of myth and legend, folklore and fantasy. That's awesome. So it looks like there's actually some tape here to cut. But on the side it says, looks inspired by fantasy. Eco-friendly. Pet-friendly and superwoman owned. That's awesome. That's amazing. Do you have anything maybe smaller I can use to cut the tape with? Yes, I do. Here you go, my lord. Thank you. All right, now that the tape has been pre-cut. Wow. Oh my God. Ah, this looks amazing. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but 
Let me read this to you first. Welcome to the Tale Inspired Sample Pack. No, I'm gonna let you read it when you order it. Take a look at this, guys. Isn't it awesome? Now I'm gonna read through the six that come in this sample pack and then we're gonna get to sniffing them to see what they smell like. I'm super excited for that part. It's obviously gonna be the best part of the video. Now I don't wanna actually read this because I don't wanna spoil this moment for you guys. I feel like everybody should get the full experience of it, like I said before. But I will read you which six candles I got and kind of more or less what they're supposed to smell like from the website. Okay, so the first candle we have is Bearded Tree. So this one is supposed to smell like um, wood and earth. Wood and earth. Tree beard. I don't know, should I mention like what Lord of the Rings carried? Is that copyright? I don't know. I'm gonna say it anyways. Now these are just two ounce, obviously sample candles. So they're a little bit smaller than their full size candles, which I believe they have all of these scents in full size as well. I'll have to relook at the website. But uh, I have high expectations for this, so I'm kind of nervous. I really want it to smell good. The all packaging right. is very nice. Yeah, no, it was beautiful. I mean, it's 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 definitely worth the money so far, even without smelling the candles. I'm definitely buying from them again. But let's get into an honest review of what these really smell like. All right, I gotta let the scent build in there, so I don't wanna. <laughs> Hold up. So it's supposed to smell like wood and earth. What do you get from that? Wood and earth. Really? Now, now, let me tell you something, guys. I've smelled a lot of candles throughout my life because Mrs. Popco loves candles and she likes to take me to go buy candles and smell them for her so I can give her my second opinion. And sometimes you don't get the sense that the candle is like advertising. When this says, what is it? Wood and forest tree? Wood, wood, and, wood and earth. Wood and earth. Guys, this is literally wood and earth check it out let's see whoa that's crazy right that's like this smells so good and it smells and it, it it smells it's a like very, it. yeah it's strong but not strong where it gives you a headache yeah not in a bad way it's like it smells like what it's advertised that it smells like i want to sit on the couch and read a book and like this yeah, and this is only the first candle. This is absolutely amazing. Love it. Love. Okay, the ranger. What is the ranger supposed to smell like? Leather, weapons, aged bourbon, and forest. So, me. Okay, this doesn't <laughs> smell like me, I'm gonna be disappointed. Do you wanna smell this one first? Sure. Okay. I smell bourbon. Really? That's the first scent that I got. Okay. And then now that I'm smelling it again, I smell leather. It's like you get a different scent every no. time you sniff Let it. Me I see. promise. The Ranger. I gotta let it, the scent build in there a little bit before I. You have to smell it multiple times. Let you the, get a different scent. Before I let the lid rip. All right. Ooh, hold up. <laughs> That's really good. That's like a cologne almost. It smells really good. <laughs> Do you get a different smell? Yeah, yeah. I see. I get what you're saying. Let me, let, I gotta do it again. I would smell so good. Do we guys. have any coffee beans? Oh my God. That's amazing. That is amazing. How do they get that such a like strong, not, I don't mean strong in like, um, I mean, like, a, almost like a, a pungency. Like, how did he get such a strong smell of such a small candle? They mix their own oils. There's 11 steps to making these candles, so... Oh, okay, you did your research. I sure did. Next up is Double Breakfast. Now, I'm definitely going to smell this one first because anything food candle related, I'm all about, and I have a really good feeling that this is going to have a little bit of bacon, a little bit of maple, <laughs> and that's, like, my favorite candle scent. So, second breakfast... All right, so this one is supposed to smell like warm baking from the kitchen delectable maple syrup. Oh my gosh, okay. So this is definitely this one of my, yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is my type of candle. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let it build. Oh my God. <laughs> what? It's so good, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
You know what this smells like? It is it is maple for sure. Mm -hmm. But it almost it almost smells like like caramel popcorn. Caramel popcorn? Caramel. <laughs> yes. Why did I say caramel? Smell that. Let's Check that it. out. Let me know what you think. Alright. I agree. Right? I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more like meaty. Like I thought it was gonna be like some kind of bacon. I'm glad like, it's that not. Yeah, she doesn't like yeah. bacon. She's not a bacon person, so. But I'm a bacon person, and I was kind of hoping for that little, like, bacon scent. But the maple's really good. It does smell like a breakfast, so I'm really excited to burn this candle. It's probably going to be one of my favorite ones to burn, for sure. One more time. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Okay, Breeze Spice Market. Now, this is one of the ones that I saw. So... <laughs> Let me preface by saying I'm a part of the Mythologies Candle community on their Facebook page. So I see a lot of the input from other people that I've bought from this company. And I get a lot of good reviews on Breeze Spice Market. People specifically talk about this one and the Ranger when they buy the tail inspired pack. So I'm kind of excited to smell this to see what all the raw love is about. All right, so Breeze Spice Market is supposed to be sweet spices, clove bud, and vanilla. I love so, vanilla. Yeah, so spices pretty much. So, so, so yeah, go ahead and smell that. Okay. This smells like Christmas morning. Really? Yeah. How do you get Christmas morning in a candle? Second sniff. Maybe you'll smell something different. Okay. I don't know. But I, it gives me Christmas morning cookies by the fireplace that's really? what i smell oh, okay yeah. all right now i'm excited because you know christmas is my favorite holiday so this might be like a christmas candle let's see okay i definitely see what you're saying you know what i'm getting i mean maybe i'm not like a connoisseur of spices but i get cinnamon mm -hmm. do you get cinnamon i do yeah, this is definitely, um, feels more seasonal than the rest. The rest almost were like inspired by like a specific moment. This is uh, something that I would just burn maybe in fall or in the winter, not necessarily for any kind of like Lord of the Rings kind of inspired. It's good. It's good. It's a really good candle. Yeah. But this is definitely something you could just burn year round. So uh, Breeze Spice Market. Yeah, I can see what the, uh, I can see what all the, um, the reviews were about. On the, on the website, Very on nice. Facebook, yeah. I like this one. Wizard's Pipe Weed. Now, I'm really excited about this one because, <laughs> you know, I love seeing Gandalf. Is it weird to say I love seeing Gandalf smoke? But I love when Gandalf <laughs> would light his pipe in the movies. I mean, it's just an iconic moment. It's, it is. It's, like, so chill, so relaxing to see, you know. So, I, actually, I think I might want to do this one last. Can we do this one last? Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the next one. We're gonna go back to this one because I have really high hopes for this one. King of the Wood Elves. Okay, so what is King of the Wood Elves? What is that one supposed to smell like? Rich forest, herbal musk. Okay, so I, I wonder what's gonna be the difference between this one and Bearded Tree because they're both kind of like foresty. So I wonder if they're gonna be able to do separate scents or if it's gonna be kind of like more of the same. And it's gonna be really interesting. So I'll let you smell this one first because I'm gonna you. do Wizard's Pipe Weed for sure. All right. I don't know. It's not bad, but what I smell is like a men's cologne when I smell okay. this, which is not terrible, but right. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. I don't know what it smells like. Okay. So all right, let me try. Close it up, do the little ritual, let the scent build. It is a musk. Yeah. You know what? Hold up, hold up. You know what this is? This almost smells like, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It, it almost kind of smells like a mix of Bearded Tree and the Ranger. Like if those who had a baby, it would be King of the Wood Elves. 
It smells good. It's, it's good, yeah. I feel like it's a little bit stronger than the other ones because yeah, of that Yeah, I think maybe because it's like they mix together. Yeah, but it's still amazing. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like if I were to burn Bearded Tree and the Ranger and put them together, I'd probably get, I'd probably get this smell right here. I don't yeah. think we've ever smelled all, like every single candle and loved every single one. Right. Well, we still have Wizard's Pipe Weed. So yes. once we smell that one, then we can for sure say that so far, all the smells that we've we yeah. smelled so far is really good. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Back to Wizard's Pipe Weed. I'm the most excited about this one. So please be good. Okay. So this one is supposed to smell like musky herbs and tobacco. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. I love it. I love it. What does it smell like? I love it. Hold Do you up. get the tobacco smell? I gotta go for a second. Sniff. Second sniff. Third sniff. I think it's like four. Fourth. <laughs> okay. All right. Check it out. You tell me. I I love this one. Okay. Your favorite? So yes, far? so far. Yeah. Better than second breakfast or double breakfast. Sorry. Oh wow! It has a very it's a sweet it's yeah I, I don't I didn't want to use that word to describe it either but I think that might be I was afraid that it was going to smell like the last one that we just yeah. smelled because of the musk yeah and because of like the herbs like I thought it was gonna be like another earthy like smell but, but it's, it's almost, not it's yeah, sweet it's, it's almost like a sweet cologne is that a good way to describe it I don't know. yeah it smells delicious delicious smells like you'd eat it yeah it smells very no good way. okay yeah, I would get this in a cologne. I, I would wear this. I would wear Wizard's Pipe Weed. I would too. What? Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is an honest review because we're not sponsored by Mythology Candles or anything. We have done another candle review for another company that, let me say, although we did enjoy the candles, we were honest to kind of catching my drift with our experience when buying with them. Not like customer service or anything, but like the scents and just like the way it was advertised and that kind of thing. But in all honesty, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. these candles are phenomenal. They're amazing. I don't know if you agree with me, but these are probably the best smelling candles. And, and I smell candles, guys. Like I go to Bath and Body Works just to smell the candles. I don't even <laughs> buy anything. I just walk out. So yeah. I smell candles and these are probably the best candles I've ever smelled. Like yeah. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. I, I do want to mention, I know you mentioned it earlier about her website, but I'm going to say it again. It's very user friendly, and she did. She put thought into her website. Oh, for sure. I mean, you can yeah. tell that the candles were going to be good just by how much thought and effort she put into, you know, like the emails that she was sending, telling stories about the candles and things like that. And like you said, the website, the way that it was created. I mean, user friendly. You can tell that she actually cares about the customer, and I love that about this company. I've seen websites where where they display. Um, candles on a kitchen table but she actually makes a background for the candle mm -hmm. and like you said she sends stories so that when you light your candle you can read her stories and teleport into a different realm yeah it's amazing for sure absolutely good customer service yeah 100 percent. now as you may be thinking that this review is over i know the video is getting a little long i want to tell you about something else i did as i mentioned before i am a member of the Mythologies Candle Community on Facebook. And the other day I saw a poll about which candle people preferred or the customers who had bought preferred. Now, while I saw some of the candles that are actually in this sample pack, the number one candle that was winning by like a long shot was Tudor House Library. So I bought a full size one of those because I wanted to try it out. I mean, if it's winning by a long shot beating these kind of scents, I can't imagine what Tudor House Library smells like. Okay, so this box was also pre-cut. Here we have some more of the candle care instructions and some more packing paper. To keep it safe. Here we go. Okay, Mythology Candles, fantasy inspired candles. Hand poured scented candle made in small batches in the USA. Check that out guys. Each candle comes in its own box got like drawings on it become the hero of your story with mythology candles for fans of fantasy folklore and mythology it's got more on there but i'm gonna let you guys read it when you buy it it has the same design as the other box as oh well. yeah yeah wow good catch yeah 
It's so cool because they could have just sent the candle like plain right. and they sent it in its own box that I'm going to be using for display. Oh wow, look at that, even inside. Yeah, this is awesome. Wow. Sure. You're officially a mythology hero. Check that out. I'm a mythology hero, guys. You heard it here first. All right, here it is out of the box, guys. The Tudor House Library. Mood, forbidden books, stained glass, aged wood, worn pages, notes of amber, clove, citrus, patchouli, musk, and vanilla. I hope I pronounced that right. You patchouli. did. Patchouli, okay. Mm -hmm. I love the um, glass, it's like an amber glass, and then the lid is black, so. Yeah, very nice aesthetic. So we're gonna open this one up and see what it smells like. You want first sniff? Sure. Thank you. Let's see. No? Oh! It smells like a very strong women's perfume. Oh, okay. And I'm, it's not, it's not my- I wasn't expecting women's perfume. Okay, let me, let the experts. I'm not getting woman's perfume. What do you get? It's very strong. It is very strong. It's not, it's not bad. It's not woman's perfume. I smell. It smells like, um, okay, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. It hold up, like hold a... up, hold up. Let me, let me start over. Oh, let me start again. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. like my grandma's perfume <laughs> rest in peace grandma i miss you you know who would love this candle my mom really yeah it's like but she so, doesn't burn candles there we go now we have a gift from my mother i actually like it it smells like what it's intended to smell like i think this is what that i will agree with right you. this yes, is what yes. a tudor house library would smell like I yes feel like. i agree yeah so maybe not a scent that we would personally burn like in the bedroom or in the living room of our house but I still enjoy the scent and I actually think my mother would enjoy this more. So we'll probably be gifting this candle to my mother. So that concludes our review of the Mythology Candles Company. Now I wanted to make sure that I got to smell all of these scents from the candles that I bought before I made any more purchases. But after smelling these candles, combined with the service that I got from them, I'm gonna make another purchase, guys. I'm gonna be buying the Mystical Autumn Collection. Now, I received an email about it about two or three days ago, and I was immediately intrigued. I believe the one that intrigued me the most was Gaelic Feast, which I actually got a story in an email about, so that's what really intrigued me about it. But I'm gonna be buying it and hopefully doing a review video for you guys, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be linking Mythology Candles down in the description so that you guys can go ahead and check out their website and make a purchase. I highly recommend it. Quickly before I go, I wanna make two recommendations. One, I would like to have a Game of Thrones inspired scent pack. And also, I saw on the community page that I guess some people were voting for scents that sounded to me like they were Narnia inspired. And if that's a thing that was already done, I would like to see the return of that so that I can smell those candles and review them. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that subscribe button, become a part of our PopCo community. And if you have any recommendations for Mythology Candles, comment down below so I can see what kind of scents you guys would enjoy. Feel free to hit that like button and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified when future Mr. PopCo videos release. Everywhere to show up. See you soon, PopCo <laughs> Troop. Wow, you actually watched my videos.